What's going on guys? Today we're gonna be talking about the best bass fishing lures for September. So as we move more into fall, make sure you guys start using these baits because I guarantee you'll catch a lot more bass. So I already recorded this video once and then I lost all the footage. Yay, go me. So we're gonna make this short, sweet, and straight to the point. I'm just gonna give you guys my honest opinions and tell you guys what works best for me during the month of September. So the first bait we're gonna be talking about today is chatter baits. Make sure you guys choose a color profile that matches the bait fish in your water. So around here, we've got a lot of bluegill, a lot of shad, and a lot of shiners. So when these bass see these chatter baits, they're gonna crush them. So this one right here resembles more of a bluegill. This one here resembles more of a shiner. And whenever you're using these chatter baits, experiment a little bit, do some slow rolling. But the first bait you're gonna wanna have during the month of September and throughout the fall is a chatter bait. The second lure we're talking about today is a buzz bait. The buzz bait is the ideal lure that you wanna use during this time of year. Most people will put down the topwater lures around this time of year, but that is so far from what you wanna do. You wanna pick up a buzz bait. This is just a small buzz bait, but I really like to use the ones with the larger blades. This is a very small blade. The ones I like to use are probably this big of a blade, so that way you can really slow roll them and then those bass will just crush it. You can also substitute the buzz bait with a whopper plopper or any other type of straight retrieve top water lure. And the third bait we're talking about today is a square bill crank bait. This guy here I got from Bass Pro Shops and it dives down zero to one foot deep and it also has a rattle in it. So as you can hear that, if you guys can get a square bill crank bait that has a nice rattle in it, I guarantee you'll catch tons of bass. I got I personally got this size because I want to catch some big old bass. And last but not least, we can't forget about the frog. This time of year, the grass in these lakes and ponds and rivers starts to die off. So a lot of these bass are going to go and search for greener grass. So if you use a frog and throw it over some of these grassier areas in the water, most likely you'll find a bass hanging out there. Here's the final tip for you guys. I like to fish shallow this time of year. They can be out deep, but personally, in my experience, a lot of these fish that I catch come from shallow water. And I also really like to slow roll my baits, especially buzz baits. Try to keep that on top and try to keep them going slow. As we move into this fall transition, the bass are gonna start feeding a lot more on bait fish. And that is why I chose these color profiles because it resembles the bait fish in my water. So as we move more into fall, make sure you guys start using these baits because I guarantee you'll catch a lot more bass. And if you like fishing adventures, make sure to subscribe and check out this video next because we caught some monster bass. Thanks for watching guys. Happy fall fishing.